Hi everyone, it's Rich Seaman again, and I'm here talking with Lenny Pierce about the building grounds today. Lenny, what's involved in taking care of the grounds of the church? Well, right now we just mow and trim the grass around the church building. I'm planning on adding to that next year. Um, it takes approximately two hours for a two-member team. We had two father-son teams. We had an old, we had old guys like me and Terry David. We had a woman, Sue Tama, who could outwork any of us at every age, in between, and so you're all welcome to join up. Why did you choose to be involved in this thing? Well, it chose me, as serving always does. About 12 years ago, Dan McCracken was doing all the maintenance around the church, including mowing the grass. He was also working full-time driving UPS trucks on third shift, and he would ask people to help, or he would do it himself. I saw that as it was getting to be too much for him, so I asked if he would want me to or would mind if I could start scheduling people so that we could get the grass cut each week. He was more than willing to let me have it. No, if this may be a challenging question, but how do you see the gospel being served in this mission? Well, I asked God to use me. There was a need that I could help out. God opened this door for me to serve. We all have gifts that we can use. Um, what blessings have you seen God give other people through this? When you get involved in serving a need for the church or for outside the church building, you develop relationships with people that you can't make during the Sunday service. And what blessings has God given you through this experience? I keep meeting new people, older, younger, male, female. Anyone can do this if they give up some, some of their time. Serving is the best way to develop better relationships. I love meeting new people. And Lenny, if somebody wants to get involved in this service, how do they do that? Well, look for a sign-up sheet in March, you know, the old-fashioned way. I'll have a sheet to sign up. The more the people, the less time each group has to mow. Pray and ask God if this is a way that you can serve. Thanks, Lenny.